In this short video, I'm gonna show you the easiest possible method for you to print unlimited OnlyFans subscribers using dating apps. It's the easiest method out there. Yes, I'm aware of anti detect browsers and app cloner and Android emulators and all that. Yeah, I'm aware of that. But this is using iPhones. It is the easiest method by far because it's the most reliable. You don't use proxies, it just goes under the radar. My agency has been using this method for over a year now with all of our models successfully, long account lifespans, at least month long lifespans at a minimum for all of the profiles that we create for them. So let's go over the framework. I'm still getting asked a few questions. So I thought I'd just go over the framework a little more clearly just for you that are getting confused. I keep getting questions like, I'm doing this iPhone method, but I'm getting banned straight away. Why is that? And then they'll tell me that they're purchasing a SIM card from one country, spoofing location on the iPhone to a totally different country, or they're using obvious bio funnels. It is just, so look, let's go over it again because it's the easiest method by far. Don't get tempted by a cloner or straight up anti detect browsers just won't work because it starts off when you create a dating app profile on the entity tech browser it automatically starts off with a higher trust score than sorry it automatically starts off with a lower trust score than it would if you're creating from a mobile device which means you're almost guaranteed to get asked to verify this method by the way we also don't verify accounts no one believes us but we d we never needed to verify any of the accounts we just slide under the radar but i'm very careful because all of the different things that we select in these dating app profiles from workplace to hobbies, interests, it's all carefully selected based on what the model would like. Based on where she lives would be where she works, based on how she looks would be how she works also. So then it all adds up because each little thing that does not make sense adds up and then you'll either get reported, you'll get asked to verify it, or just get straight up banned. So let's go over this framework for you to replicate so that you can do the same and just print subs for your models, all right? So first thing, you'll be purchasing an iPhone. I recommend iPhone 7 or 8. Why? Because it's the cheapest and it works. iPhone 10, 9, X, 12, 13, 40, 50, overkill. Remember, you wanna scale up. It is one iPhone per dating app. So you can have one iPhone with one Tinder account, one Bumble account, one Hinge or whatever you want to use, okay, Cupid, but it's one iPhone for one of each of those. So you're going to need a few different iPhones. So therefore you use iPhone 7 or iPhone 8. I would actually recommend iPhone 8 over 7 because iOS support is no longer being rolled out for iPhone 7. So it's a matter of time before you can't create dating apps on iPhone 7s altogether. So if you want to just jump ahead and think ahead, which you should be, then I would go iPhone 8. Then you're going to purchase a SIM card and activate it. You'll be purchasing the SIM card from the country that you and the iPhone are in. Then you're going to activate it and use the SIM card data. You're not connecting to a Wi-Fi connection. You're using the SIM card data because dating apps, they know the IP address. If you have used a Wi-Fi to create the dating app profile and been banned on it before, then you try creating another dating app on it. Doesn't matter if it's on a different device, you'll get straight up banned. So be safe. You purchase the SIM card and you activate it to use the data. Then you're gonna set up the iPhone. You're gonna factory reset it. Insert the SIM, create an Apple ID and sign in. Now, when you factory reset a phone, it gets a new device ID. So inevitably, when an iPhone does eventually get banned. When a dating app profile does eventually get banned, you just reset the iPhone and you can do it all over again. Now, if you follow my exact instructions, your profiles will last for a minimum of 30 days. And then eventually when the account gets banned, because eventually it will get reported a couple of times and it will just go, that's just how it is. Then you just reset the iPhone, gets a new device ID, then you do it all over again. Then you create an Apple ID and sign in. Yes, I'm aware that you can only create a max number of uh, Apple IDs on an iPhone. You can get around this with ease. Either Google it or go on my Empire forums and I show you exactly how to do that there. All right, so you've done all that. You've inserted the activated SIM. Now you're gonna spoof the location. Why are you spoofing location? Because if you create five Tinder profiles in the same spot, you're gonna have guys on there seeing same profile from the same girl 
like five different times and they're just going to report you. So you have to spread them out. Now you don't have to spoof to the location where you want to show these profiles. You just have to spoof to a different location so that they're spread out. You'll be using the Tinder and Bumble premium features to show the profile in different countries. So you'll just be spoofing the location to a different part of the country where you're in simply just so that the profiles are spread out, all right? I have a lot of people getting confused by this. They spoof to a different country and then they just get banned, asked to verify, or whatever. No, you spoof to a different part, the same country. It's just to spread out the profiles. So you'll do this by using software like 3 Tools or iAnyGo. You can do it on a Mac or PC, all right? So the iPhone's set up. Now, you're gonna prepare the photos. You're gonna have to use new photos. Yeah, but I've got some other photos that I've used on other Tinder profiles, but I've removed the metadata that should be fine, right? No, no. You have to use brand new photos and then you also remove the metadata. This is because little things like an email address belonging to the Google Drive folder where you got photos from will be on there. An email address tied to the operating system of the device where you're using those photos will be on there. So you're just gonna remove all that metadata with the new photos. Have to be new photos. I can't emphasize this enough. Have to be new photos. Then you're gonna upload the photos to iCloud from the PC or Mac. This is so that you can access them on the iPhone. So you just upload them to the iCloud belonging to the Apple ID that you just created for that iPhone, all right? So you do that, upload the photos there. Then on the iPhone, you're gonna download the photos from the iCloud account. Now you have the prepared photos, they're brand new, they have removed metadata, they're fresh. You've downloaded them to the iPhone, all right? Now, you're gonna go to set everything up. So you download the Tinder, Bumble account, or whatever from the App Store. Now, time for the dating app profiles. So you'll be downloading Tinder, Bumble, whatever other dating apps you want to the iPhone from the App Store. Remember, you're using the SIM card data, not Wi-Fi. <clears throat> You'll download them from the iPhone app store. Now, then you'll be creating the new accounts. Obviously, do this one at a time. You'll be doing it for the Tinder, then the Bumble, then the OkCupid, okay, whatever. So when, when you're creating the new account, you'll be using these fresh photos that you've just installed on the iPhone from the iCloud. And then you're gonna set up all the basic info. You're only setting up the info that you get prompted to on this dating app, for example, Tinder. You're only setting up the information they ask you to. You can set up much more information than they prompt you to, but you're only gonna set up the minimum amount required before you warm up the account for 48 hours. So you use the photos and you only set up what they ask you to set up. Don't jump ahead. Don't start adding all the interests and hobbies and all that and the bio. No, only set up the minimum amount that they ask you to. And then once you've done that, you warm up the account for 48 hours. This means exiting the dating app profiles, leaving the iPhone on, leaving it charging. It has to remain plugged into a charger. It doesn't have to stay plugged into the computer. The only time you plug it into the computer is when you spoof the location, then you unplug it. But the iPhone has to stay charged, it has to stay on because the second the iPhone dies or resets, the location will reset. And if this happens, these dating apps are gonna see this location reset and they're gonna either straight up banned or ask to verify or whatever. So when you finish setting up, you exit the apps and then you simply just make sure the iPhone's plugged in to a charger and you just rest it down and that's it. Don't turn it off. You just rest it down, leave it plugged in and don't even look at it for two days. And then after two days, that's the warming up period then you continue to set up the rest. So you'll continue to set up the rest of the basic info, like the interests and hobbies and all that. Then you'll set up the bio. Remember, it has to be subtle if you're gonna put your funnel in there, like your Insta Snap or whatever, it has to be subtle. This is a pivotal moment, this one. This is the moment where your account is either yay or nay. A lot of people fuck this up and then they just ruin the whole thing because they just write something just super obvious. It doesn't look like a girl wrote it. Their Instagram is just straight up in there, has the at symbol, has everything, it's super obvious, and then it gets straight up banned or asked to verify, usually banned. So this is a pivotal moment, make sure it's subtle. I have exactly how we do it on Empire. And then you'll set up the other details, as I said. Now, once you've done this, the account is ready to go. You can either start swiping straight away 
in the city where it is, where we spoof to, or you can go straight to purchase Tinder Gold or Bumble Premium, and then you'll be using those premium features to spoof the dating app to different countries, and that is how you'll show the dating app profile to different countries. Doesn't matter if people can see that it's traveling. Who cares? You're still gonna make matches. You spoof the location using the Tinder or Bumble premium features to other countries, and that is how you show the dating app profile to other countries. A lot of people say, yeah, yeah, but how do you show it to a different country? Or yeah, I spoofed the location of a different country, it's banned. No, I can't go over this any more simpler, all right? Using the Tinder Gold or Bumble Premium to show the dating app in different countries using the travel feature. And then you can have unlimited swipes or you can just swipe straight going to the like section, seeing everyone that's liked you because it won't take long for these guys to like you. And then you can just swipe there. Now, when you're swiping, make sure to swipe left around 10% of the time because a girl doesn't always swipe right and you have to look like a girl. So don't just get swiping and do 2000 swipes in a session because you're gonna get straight up banned. This is the other pivotal point, it's how you act. So no more than 200 matches a day. Make sure that when you're swiping, whether it's on likes or just on the main page, make sure that you're swiping left 10% of the time. You have to look like a girl. And that is it. That is the method we use. Been using this for over a year now. It's like printing subs. And when an account inevitably gets banned, you simply just reset the iPhone and we just do it all over again. Easy peasy, as easy as they come. No proxies are on in that bullshit. That is the easiest way by far to print unlimited OnlyFans subs for either you or your models if you're a manager using dating apps. Don't do entity thick browsers, app cloners, or any of that bullshit. Use iPhones. Yes, it's gonna cost you a couple of hundred bucks to get a few iPhones, but when you do this, make sure that you dial in the method on one iPhone before expanding. Don't try and learn using five iPhones at once, it's gonna make life harder. So use one iPhone, make sure you've got it dialed in, you do this method perfectly, you have an account successfully swiping and matching and funneling, and then you scale up. Get another iPhone 8, and you just grow and grow that way. You can reuse them when they get banned, and we have a whole stash of them and we've never looked back. No app clone of proxies or any of that bullshit. This is what you want. And that's it. So if this helped you at all, which it should have, feel free to like the video, comment, and make sure to join my Discord launching on December 1. Link is below. If you want to know this, but in more detail, you want to know the funnel we use, you want to know all that good stuff, make sure to join the Discord using the link below and I'll see you in there.